Hello, addition and subtractioners. <clears throat> uh, some different things this week. Uh, I'm particularly excited about a couple of things today. Um, <clears throat> we'll do attendance, and then I do have a book to read today called Turtle Splash. I'm trying to read some kind of math book with the beginnings of each day. And then I'll outline, call an overview of everything for everyone in the three different groups that I'm teaching to. And then we'll start on our um, individual sheets. Okay, so let's take attendance. I have a clapper, and I like the sound of this one because it's different than the other where it was just a clap on one side, clap on the other. These, they both move at the same time, so it, has, it makes me think about dancing. I might, I might not stop clapping it while I switch my numbers. I can't seem to stop. And look how they move. I like how this one goes sideways, while this one in the back is just going back and forth. It's like, this is doing the right job. He's going, yeah! Look at that. Okay, that makes me laugh. Okay, it makes me laugh. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Okay, if you are from 206, come on down. You're going to keep going. You're just going to keep going. If you are from 102, come on down. I can't stop. I can't stop now. If you are from 103, come on down. If you are from room 104, come on down. Time for math. If you are from room 171, come on down. I really did like that sound. I don't know why, but it sounded good to me. Okay, one more time. Let me do my math book and then let's do an overview and then let's get started on today. <clears throat> the book I have for today <clears throat> is called Turtle Splash Countdown at the Pond and it's by Catherine Falwell. <clears throat> Pretty illustrations on the front cover and on the back cover like that <clears throat> going in. <clears throat> so it's a countdown so it could be considered a subtraction idea you know each time one gets taken away, it is a subtraction. I uh, haven't read this one for a while. <clears throat> Turtle Splash Countdown at the Pond, using the other pronunciation, by Catherine Fowler. Ooh, that is pretty. The nice greens in that, in that pond picture. And there's a red cardinal over here. Those are in the East Coast. I see them when I see, go to visit my mom. There's one or two cardinals that come to her backyard. Beautiful. I haven't seen them out in Seattle, so maybe this is an East Coast artist. There's a single butterfly over there. Ten. There's the numeral, and then there's the word ten. Ten. Ten timid turtles lounging in a line. Oh, beautiful dragonfly there. You see that? It's a beautiful illustration. <clears throat> Startled by a bullfrog. Ooh, there's a rabbit over there. Can you see that rabbit in the woods? Then there are nine. Nine. So that's the word numeral. So it's like ten take away one. Because one jumped in. So ten minus one equals nine. Nine. Nine napping turtles, oh, I get it, ten timid, nine napping. Both start with the letter. So the, what if all the words after the numeral word, nine, mm, 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 nine, mm, napping. Nine napping turtles. The day is growing late. A rabbit rustles in the leaves. <clears throat> now there are eight. Eight, okay, changes, eight lazy. Eight lazy turtles resting without care. A red squirrel scampers by the log. Ooh, and there's kind of a, let's see, a bit of a preview. I wonder if that's a preview of the next animal. Remember how Jan Brett did previews in her borders? Okay, so eight, nine minus one. Nine take away one is eight. So now eight take away one, the next number is going to be Watch 
watch carefully because the animal is previewed in here. Okay, so seven still are there. Seven. Seven, seven sleepy turtles hear the crunch of sticks. Deer appear beside the shore. This is a really beautiful book. Seven minus one, seven take away one, six. Now there are six, six. Six sunning, six sunning turtles watching ducklings dive. The mother mallard quacks at them. Huh. Alliteration is what you call it when words in a row have the same starting letter. So six stunning, six sunning, and then ducklings dive. Interesting. Okay. The mother mallard quacks at them. Then there are five, five idle turtles, that means not busy, five idle, idle turtles lolling by the shore. Pollywogs swirl by their log. Here, remember, shore, preview of the rhyming for the number five minus one equals four. Now there are four, four. Four. Now there are four. Four drowsy turtles, quiet as can be. A butterfly flutters by. Butterfly flutters by. <laughs> leaving only three. B three. Three. Three carefree turtles beneath. A sky so blue, blue. A chickadee chirps in a tree. Then there are two. Two silent turtles watch the setting sun. Watch the setting sun. Mosquitoes. Buzz above their heads. Yeah, stay over there. Now there's only one. One lonely turtle in the fading light. It is pretty. Purpley color. Splash! Ten tired turtles settle for the night. So they've all gone down under the water safe place to be while they rest. Over here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sleep tight. Oh, this is nice. Interesting. It says life at the pond. And then at the back of the book, there's a paragraph, which is a group of sentences about the same <clears throat> uh, idea or topic. Um, about turtles, bullfrogs, rabbits, squirrels, deer, ducks, pollywogs, butterflies, chickadees, and mosquitoes. That tells a little bit of science fact about them. And then the very back says how to make leaf prints. Man, I love this book. I'm glad I bought this one. Turtle Splash. That's a nice one. Okay. Thank you, listeners. Now, the pages we have today, just showing ahead. Oops. First one's up here on, on the board already. Addition, dice roll. <clears throat> the dice are rolled already, but having your own nearby is, would be good. I showed you that last week where you kind of put the dice right near it, just for good practice to have that automaticity where you look at it, a, a dice arrangement. You do, do not have to count the dice, but you know that is the number four. Like right over somewhere in there, there's a four in it, right there. Okay, so having your dice nearby would be good. That's one. Yay! Get to use, get to use the cards today. This one is a playing minus one. So 
you'll need your playing cards, either one or both, the black and the red ones, for this page. There's subtraction with the cards, and then there is addition with the cards. And I'll show you those in just a little bit. Um, this is one, I think this is new. I don't think we've done this one before. This one is, which choice for these examples matches the nu a number? So it says right here, which choice or choices could be one of those, could be two of those, could be all three, best shows a number? And it says what number that is. And I'll help you with that in just a little bit. I, I like that one. That one's different. <clears throat> Those are one lesson. The second lesson <clears throat> is this one. <clears throat> a little bit like we did, we did one last week with the, there were gray dots and black dots. And the gray ones were kind of the ones that were takeaway. And these, if we were in building, You'd have the um, snap together cubes called unifix cubes that you'd put in a train of 10 and then you'd snap off um, the number that would match the X's because it's subtraction from 10. That's one. This is one we have seen before with the examples. The dots are there. And so we'll talk a little bit about using one of these pages. Um, addition at the top, subtraction at the bottom. That's another lesson. And then the last lesson, this one, is a challenge page. Um, there's some uh, subtraction and addition strings when it goes for more than two. It's not just 10 minus two, but it's 10 minus two minus three minus one. And you go across there. There's some um, addition uh, of three numerals. Mm -hmm. Some are single, some have two digits, and some have three digits. And so that's there. And then this is something different we have done before. Pairs of numbers um, to add them together at the, back, at the bottom. And I'll show you that one later. So three different lessons coming up. And I'm going to start with this one. So having this one ready first. Okay.